Today's video is sponsored by Heart of the Tribe Gallery, where art meets community. More about that later. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. You find me in Glastonbury High Street, outside the shop, slated to become our new chemist. Should have been a chemist back in December when it was granted permission. However, another company has appealed against that decision. So all work has had to stop. The chemist hasn't been here for six months. And we're now waiting for the 17th of June when the next process, a, a virtual meeting, will take place to decide the outcome of this appeal. Now, most people will tell you it's stupid. Glastonbury needs two chemists. And they do. We have one other chemist at the moment. It's down at Faversham Lane, which is a doctor's surgery over that way. And it can't cope. It can't cope with the amount of work. It can't cope with the number of people coming through the door. And it can't cope with prescribing the number of medicines it needs to prescribe. I have met with people who have been turned away and told to go elsewhere because they couldn't do the job. They couldn't fill the prescription. So who, I ask, has appealed? against this becoming a chemist, which the town desperately needs. Well, I can tell you, it is the owners of Faversham Lane, a company called Well. They've been based in Manchester. They have 700 pharmacies across the country, and yet they feel the need to appeal against this one. Now, please do not take it out on the staff. It is not the fault of the staff down at Faversham Lane. They are working hard as they can to keep up with what they have to keep up with. But the same company that's driving them to work like that is appealing against this chemist. So on the 17th of June this year, which is in about a week's time, a meet, virtual meeting will take place to decide the outcome of this appeal. Now, I hope sincerely, and as do most people in Glastonbury hope, that this gets to go ahead because we desperately need this chemist. It will be open longer, it will have hours to suit people, and it will be bang in the high street where people can access it easily without having to walk to Faversham Lane. Because don't forget, a lot of people using a pharmacy are old and possibly infirm. So I just thought I'd do this quick video just to bring you up to date because some people aren't aware of what's going on. Um, and I will bring you back up to date as soon as I have information after the 17th what about the outcome of the appeal and if this is going to get to go ahead um, because it really needs it. You've only got to look around town everywhere you look. Glastonbury needs a pharmacy sticker in the window. They're everywhere. So that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoy it. How can you enjoy a video about something like this? I don't know. But I wanted to do it because I wanted people to know what's going on and when the next stage is going to happen. So thank you for watching and goodbye. The Heart of the Tribe Gallery is a community art gallery situated near the top of Glastonbury High Street. They host amazing exhibitions supporting local artists and they have a beautiful secret garden out the back. So be sure to check them out and support local art.